bringing versatile Eurorack style modulation to the party. Hive's two function generators can operate as envelopes, clock dividers, envelope followers, lag generators, pseudo step sequences, and more. Triggered and controlled by the synth's other mod sources, each one outputs an envelope and two gate signals, all of which are independently assignable using their drag and drop crosshairs or the modulation matrix menus, and shaped with the attack, decay, and slope controls. Attack and decay times range from low audio rate to 4 seconds, and slope sweeps both stages from an exponential curve fully anti-clockwise to logarithmic clockwise through linear at the center point. All those outputs can get quite confusing, so it's a good idea to route them to the scope as needed in order to clearly see the signals being generated by them. See the scope video for details. A function generator is triggered whenever its selected input signal crosses the zero point in the positive direction if that signal is bipolar, or any positive movement upwards from zero if it's unipolar. The menu of possible inputs takes in the gamut of Hive's modulation sources and certain MIDI signals, the most relevant of which are the LFOs, sequences, and function generators themselves. Six modes determine the behavior of each function generator. Envelope and one-shot generate a two-stage envelope, with envelope re-triggering during the decay stage from the current value, and one-shot waiting until the decay stage has finished before re-triggering. The two cycle modes loop the envelope constantly, cycle trig interrupting the decay stage to re-trigger the attack just like envelope mode, and cycle on off stopping looping and constantly outputting its current value whenever the input signal is at zero. Follow and follow gate are envelope followers, or slew limiters in modular synthesis parlance, used to smooth sharp angles in the input signal via the attack and decay envelope controls. Follow gate holds the envelope at its current value when the MIDI key is released. Alongside its role as a modulation signal, each function generator's envelope also governs its two individual gate outputs. These are effectively pulse waves, the widths of which are controlled by the envelope signal and the attack and decay controls. The rise gate outputs a value of 1 when the signal is rising, and 0 otherwise. The fall gate does the opposite, 1 when falling, 0 when not. Move and still are similarly oppositional, the former outputting 1 only when the signal is rising or falling, the latter only when it's not moving at all.
The gates prove particularly useful as clock dividers sourced from LFO-triggered one-shot envelopes, outputting slower signals that track the LFO frequency, shaped with the attack and decay controls. <laughs> 